you know, going into my senior season, I'm looking forward to, you know, improve like I have each season since I've been here and hopefully, you know, get over the 1,000 yards mark. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Did you feel like you took some steps last year in yeah, doing I, that? Yeah, I took some steps last year, you know, but there still was a lot more improvement I needed to do going into this camp. You know, and I, I watch film, figure out what I needed to do, you know, stay flat, some, flat on certain routes so I don't get killed. You know, like I had like twice that season, <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> but you know, um, but yeah. What do you think the depth's going to be at receivers? Obviously, yeah, we lost a couple of. We lost. Guys, yeah, we lost two though. We lost yeah. Kevin and Mario. But each year, someone had to step. Someone had to step up. You know, who stepped up when Tavon and Stead left from Kevin and Mario? You know, so they left. Someone else got to step up. You know. It's going to be someone in the receiver room, maybe two people, two, three people are going to step up, but someone's going to step up. You know, it's early on, maybe seven on sevens or anything else, when you see new guys come in and, and enter the rotation, do you feel like there are players, you know, who have been recruited into the system who can immediately make yeah. it back? Yeah, Karan, White, you know, very size, very, you know, dynamic with this. Great hands, great hands, great hands. Uh, Gary Jennings, strong, physical guy. Definitely go up for the ball, you know. I mean, so there's like there's a lot of people that's been recruited here that can make an immediate impact. Thanks, Jordan. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Hey, Jordan. Hey, uh, Jordan Monica with the Dominion Post right in town. Nice you, to meet you. Um, so, you know, I noticed with the portion of practice that was open, first thing you guys were going over the middle of the end zone, catch a pass, get hit by a blocker pad or whatever. Yeah. Right? That ball protection drill. I mean, that's good. Uh, how much? Yeah, ball security drill. How much of a? How much of a? You know. And point of emphasis is that you know making it the first activity. Yeah, it's very strong because uh, we actually do it the first part of practice and at the last part of practice. Yeah. You know, turnovers are what can kill a team and can, can ruin your season. I mean, we had a turnover margin what minus negative one point five, mm -hmm. and the best the Ohio State had one point plus one point five. So TCU, who won the Big Twelve co-share with Baylor, but had a one point five. You know, turnover margin. So turnover is very key, critical to football games. So we're very making them very focused on the impact on ball security. You know, if we fumble on the field, we got to go wall sets and stuff. So yeah, ball security is very crucial. Yeah, you know, I think some people may, you know, may kind of view this group of receivers as the same of and none, none, you know, just you know, just replacing guys like Kevin, Kevin White and Demario Alford. You know, are you guys are you know with you guys as a group is are there a kind of certain confidence in in what you guys can do? Uh, you know, going, yeah. in, going into the season here, you know, even if the full body work necessarily. Yeah, I mean, Kevin and Mario gone, but you know, it's it's a system. Everybody leave, has to leave sometime. You know, I mean, I'm leaving after this year, but our confidence is very high because we have a lot of playmakers. A lot of people in the room, very talented, can catch, can pr produce just as much, if not more, than what Kevin Mario did, you know, last year, you know. But we're very confident. We feel like, you know, there's going to be at least three guys this year that are going to have over 1,000 yards. So we're very confident. I mean, you know, obviously you're not the biggest guy. Right. Um, when you look at the – you know the wide receivers and the wide receiver meeting. Do you look around and be like, "Wow, you know, I, uh, I got to make up for this in, in other ways." No, not really, because I mean, I look at them. I mean, each each person has a, a strength and weakness. Yeah. You know, my strength is quickness. Mm -hmm. You know, run good routes, mm -hmm. catch. I mean, my weakness would be height, but I can't do nothing about height. Yeah. I mean, that's why I was just God just granted and gave me made me short, but he Double. actually made me fast. So, I mean, I'm faster than most guys in their mean room and stuff, so I, it's not really a big emphasis. Everybody I play against is bigger than me, so, I mean, it's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, really, uh, how conducive is uh, this offensive system here? You know, you know, two kind of smart, faster guys like you who can kind of get out in space. Yeah. Kind of it, each person they recruit plays a certain role, and they have it in their mind when they recruit them, like what role they're going to do. So, I mean, my role was play slot receiver, use speed, use, you know, quickness, you know, to get open, you know, find holes and stuff, you know, not going deep, deep routes and making the jump ball, you know, but... The way they have it as a system is very, it's very interesting and very, very successful. Just the way how they bond it and make different people been to one team. So basically, like in the receivers, you have Quran and the kill. I mean, guys who are 
bigger and you know they're playing outside and you have me and Lamar inside with the quickness and stuff so each, each piece of the puzzle basically has its perks.